So, I just wanted to do a video about um, one of these gramophones by Gilbert, which I picked up recently. I've always wanted one of these. Yeah, goodness knows why, but there we are. Um, because they've got these rather unusual tone arms, and I've always been interested just to see how that affects the sound of the things, whether it's any good or not. Um, a bit ugly, really, but there we go. There's the little thing on there. And full of dust as well. Good job we're not making a video or anything. And there's the original sound box with its mother of pearl sort of guard thing over the diaphragm. I've rebuilt that with some new gaskets and they they don't have these bayonet fittings in there like a lot of boxes do. These are just push fits and they've got this very important rubber isolator spacer thing there. The old one, of course, was completely solid and it just fell to pieces when I took the sandbox out, so that's been made out of a doorstop or something. Fairly basic, but it does the job for now. Um, it sounds a lot better now that it's got the new gaskets in. It was fairly awful before. But before we play anything, I just thought I'd whip the, whip the motor out and just show you the horn, which is very, very basic. So I'll just put you down for a minute. There we are. Okay. So actually I don't know whether this is going to be too dark down there. I don't know whether you can see that. So there's the tone arm and leading down to straight section of the horn, which then just flares out into the, into the mouth of the horn. Really, really basic stuff. I don't know what it is, maybe it's some tin or thin steel that's thin coated or something, I don't know, but not much to it. So, so there was a lot hanging on the, um, the design of that, I think. And then the mouth of the horn is behind the doors. We have a very interesting design, isn't that weird? Again, it's a bit ugly, isn't it? But there we go. Um, yeah, and I mean, the cabinet's all right. It's, I think this is certainly solid oak in the corners. I think this might, might be solid as well. That's probably veneered ply or something. Uh, anyway, let's pop the uh, motorboard back in and have a listen to it. some cardboard spaces on here because it was sitting a bit low this was and the other thing to say is it's a little bit it's a little bit um roughly put together i mean there are things that don't quite fit and then you can see that gap down there but the way that the holes are is not very not very good some of them are overlapping this bit here and some of them are well in so not huge attention to detail. And this backboard here is very thin, it's warped rather a lot. I think the horn has pushed it up, which gives us a bit of a, a bit of a shoddy appearance really, but there we go. Right, so we're just gonna pop the turntable back on and uh, put a record on. I don't know much about Garrard motors. I think this is just a single spring looking at it. Um, I've not had the spring out because why would you? There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, uh, of course, the sandbox. Let's pop you back on. So, of course, um, because there's no bayonet fitting, the actual angle that that's going on is adjustable, so it's a little bit hit and miss, but there we go. And um, well, it's it's birdie. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that. I don't know whether it's focusing properly. Whatever it is. Right. Here we go. Oh, my 
go and not not too much rattling from the sound box really that's quite good quite good um, the case isn't very interesting it's a bit unusual I mean that is just odd isn't it isn't that odd I don't know I expect this is veneered ply and that is just plywood at the back well, there we go. But um, not really a bad machine, I don't think. I'm quite pleased with it. Interesting, anyway. I don't know what I'll do with it. Probably, probably just store it somewhere. Um, don't think there's much else to say about it, really. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed it.